So good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm good. Uh, Ashu, thanks for asking. And uh, how about you? Yeah, I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for asking me too. So as we are meeting for the first time, so I want you to introduce. So if you will introduce yourself, it will be good for viewers and watchers to know about you, please. Uh, thank you so much for this uh, uh, as opportunity because this is my first session to you. I have, I have seen a lot of videos on YouTube. So I'm very excited to uh, talking to you. So yeah. So I'm starting for my introduction. So my name is uh, Mohit Saxena and uh, I'm basically from Morena, Madhya Pradesh. And if you talk about uh, my education, so I have done my graduation from Agra. And then after that, I shifted to my job. So currently I'm working as a need in post solutions private limited as a MI's executive role. So yeah. This is all about yeah. Yeah, that's great. So, what about? Uh, do you want me to introduce? Can I introduce yes. myself as well? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, as you know, my name is Ashutosh Sivedi, and I am speaking to you from Kanpur city of Uttar Pradesh. About my education, I have pursued my degree that is BCom Honours Accounting from Banaras Hindu University. Now I am pursuing my masters that is Masters of Arts. In English literature. Apart from this, I do run a YouTube channel which is based on spoken English conversations and I conduct sessions for my students. So that's what I do. So thank you. So now moving forward with the conversation, I have a lot of questions for you and I'm excited to ask. So are you ready for questions? Yes, of course. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So the first question I would like to ask from you that what is the reason behind learning? spoken English for you. Why would you like to become a better speaker? Uh, firstly, I would like to say for myself and uh, and also uh, for my career also because some uh, some of the clients my uh, US based. So I sometime I interaction with him. Uh, so that kind of uh, it stuck some words, some sentences when I speak. So I just thinking about that. So uh, so I just uh, learning. So as a learner, uh, I, I but I have seen your videos. So I'm so <laughs> motivation to you. So I have seen your so many videos and uh, yeah. So that is the other thing but uh, when i come to this point uh, i also my week uh, as a grammar so i also to work on my grammar also and uh, yeah that is yeah. why so you would like to work on your grammar first you want to speak better english and third thing it can help you in your profession as well so that sometimes you'll have to interact with your clients in english right OK, that's great to hear about uh, this. So now moving forward with another question, as you said that uh, you get a lot of problems while you're speaking. So what kind of challenges do you face while uh, speaking this language? Uh, as you said, uh, uh, I some uh, and I go for the um, meeting. So how to start, right? So some of the colleagues are starting from the, uh, like uh, some point, right? So basically, uh, when I start uh, speaking to someone, so I get stuck sometimes. So uh, then I gradually, uh, I mean, yeah, it's okay, but uh, I'm, I was that time. So we just uh, forcing myself. So yeah so then um, i started speaking so that uh, it's flow on the on the track so yeah that is the challenge for me and uh, when i speak english you know uh, someone to it's very e not easy to communicate to how to speak how to start right 
so that is the reason to uh, i mean that is a challenge for me yeah yes you are absolutely right it happens uh, like you know in the speaking even though when i had started my spoken english journey i used to have a lot of thoughts in my mind but i was not able to speak them they were not coming out of my mind so it happens with everybody so the practice is very important the more you will speak with the people only if you will speak in meetings for sure you are going to get stuck so what you'll have to do apart from your meetings also you will have to interact with the people the strangers sometimes make friends and uh, do an agreement with them that we will talk uh, to each other for 30 minutes and 40 minutes on such topics if you will do such kind of practices for sure you'll be able to become better and confident in speaking because speaking comes from speaking if you think by reading or writing by uh, solving a lot of grammar this exercises you'll be able to become a fluent speaker no not at all so you'll have to speak as much as you can then your tongue will fluent become fluent in this language yeah so how long it has been uh, like you know when you thought of learning english as you texted me that you want to have a conversation with me uh, with me so why you came up with this idea to have a conversation with me uh so i have uh, yeah mm, as i told you uh, when i i mean so many uh, videos i have seen uh, on youtube channel so that is the reason to uh, communicate to some different people uh, as i mentioned email id and phone numbers to yeah so that is the reason to uh, improving myself uh, if if i able to uh, one session or two session once in a week and to uh, because i am some busy and work so because i have so many i mean i have work but uh, some they have time but <laughs> i am not available on that <laughs> period of time uh, so exactly i can understand mm-hmm. uh, so that's the reason uh, 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 i will manage my time so today is yeah, my off that's right once you do a job it is very difficult to get time for conversation for practice because you have a lot of responsibilities related to your job when you are in the office you'll have to focus on that apart from this when you are at home there also you'll have to do things related yeah, to right. office and your job so it's not an easy task to manage a lot of things with job i can understand your pain that you don't get time to have conversation and do practice and you must be having responsibilities related to your family as well so all things go together so yeah but yeah uh, i can understand but- Mm-hmm. yeah that uh, that is why uh, uh is uh, i mean uh, it's not a easy to uh, to take a time to conversation with you right but uh, still i i'm trying to understand uh, someone also are <laughs> also busy uh, so mm-hmm. whenever they are free i mean so i'm available i'm you know So I will take. Yeah, that's um, great. Uh, Something is better than nothing. If you will interact with the people at least once or twice in a month, it will help you. It will boost your confidence. You'll be able to speak uh, on camera. You'll be able to put your point. Uh, because always something is better than nothing. If you don't interact with anybody, of course, only in the final stage you are going to interact in a meeting. For sure, you will get stuck. So if you like, you know, if you haven't played like quarter final, semi final. and direct if you are playing the finals you'll not be able to hit the century there so you have to do practice and you have to play league matches as well so practice is really yeah. important to become better exactly. in this language yeah exactly. practice is very most important thing because uh, you whenever you have time i mean uh, you have a, a five days right seven days whenever you have time at least one hour two hour so you just uh improving myself improving myself i'm also saying uh, also others because you uh, mm-hmm. some learning new skills right so you get some uh, out of comfort zone so yeah yeah uh, so that's uh, yeah just uh, i'm uh, i'm also learner but i have so many videos i have uh, i'm huge fan 
<laughs> Ashu, I mean, uh, so oh, thank you. Uh, I, uh, I have so many videos. I have because uh, you are so. I mean, uh, how to say? I mean, uh, you uh, how to improve? I mean, you are very amazing. I mean, your uh, communication and uh, grammar and you you are consistent. So I really appreciate to you. Uh, so oh, thank you so uh, much. Uh, so i mean i'm uh, i'm older than but you are very i mean you are i mean uh, studying right now right so uh, bhu right i uh, i think i'm correct or not right so yes i study from bhu mm-hmm. yeah. so yeah i'm i'm so glad uh, to uh, improving uh, like you i mean you so, uh, so yeah, you are so yeah of course there, there is no like you know age is just like a number and it's never too late if you want to become a good speaker you can whenever you get time try to speak because even though i used to like you know study a lot i had no time to practice spoken english but fortunately i got a lot of leisure time in covid 19 and i started interacting with the people as much as i can so i started speaking with them for 6 hours 7 hours so that's how i am able to speak right now but without practice you can't expect uh, that a lot of things from yourself so what i will also just you know suggest to you or request you to practice with the people whenever you get time on such platforms like buddy talk like open talk is there be engage clubhouse hi local or ace fluency in ace fluency you will get 20 minutes per day for free you can interact with the people so try to interact with the people at least for 5 minutes 10 minutes you will become better in it yeah yes yes so another question goes to you uh, mohit that what is your expectation from uh, like in you know, yourself in this language where would you like to see yourself in this language in next 5 years uh not so much expectation but uh... generally uh, i must say it's a uh, my grammar is good and i am i am able to speak with proper sentence so that is my goal not long term goal not five years old i am not i am not a uh, <laughs> not be a not professional but i am able to uh, understand to someone uh they are understand right i mean okay you want reason. to understand others and yeah. even though you want to speak accurately so the people they can understand you right that is my goal and uh, that is uh, because uh, sometimes uh, i'm because uh, i'm not my not not long term goal to become more uh, better uh, you don't want to see yourself Anna. like sashi taru <laughs> yeah exactly but yeah that is yeah, my he is a gen- no. like he's a great speaker the way he speaks is really marvelous i like the way he speaks i agree yeah. okay so like if i ask you like how much time do you spend every day to improve your spoken english nowadays Sometimes, are you consistent uh, um, you know uh, once in a week i mean uh, one or two days i will spend my uh, training session like uh, clapping go i i think i'm not uh, able to speak on this platform to i mean i'm not <laughs> advertise okay. uh, so yeah. so uh, so yeah these are the platform so yeah so i just took a session so yeah uh, yeah that's good it means sometimes you interact with the professionals to improve your spoken english right so what do you think are uh, like you know they beneficial those sessions yes yes uh, i do sessions uh, one or two so once or uh, twice in a week mm-hmm. it was good and uh, and just keep learning right now yeah that uh, like as you yeah yeah that's great that's great now is of course now i would like to ask some questions to you related to your like you know life that what do you like uh, doing in your free time whenever you get a spare time what do you do 
what are your hobbies what are your interests actually i am reading books like spiritual books uh, also i uh, reading and uh, watching some because i'm techy guy so i'm watching some technology so i love to also i mean uh, technology basis content right you know ai and uh, it's coming so some related some content and also watching movies uh, so uh, to today i am watch uh, movie like jawan so uh, recently i uh, morning show so i uh, watch movies yeah i love to uh, movies especially okay so you like watching movies and you watch movies a lot whenever you get time that's good what about the sports do you like playing something sports uh, when i was kid so i love to sports but uh, right now i'm not uh, not so much i mean you don't get interested. time to play anything <laughs> <laughs> yeah of course uh, you are right uh, some uh yeah it's not uh, it's not easy to uh, to take a time and go for the uh, uh, ground and uh, playing cricket yeah, and all i can understand so what about if i ask you the question related to traveling do you like traveling yes yes sir so I, how many states have you visited so far mm. i uh, visited uh, anaras i visited at uh, nainital and uh, haridwar uh, yeah those are the places, Please, places. i visited yeah It's, so uh, nainital and haridwar means in uttarakhand banaras in uttar pradesh and what about your state you are from madhya pradesh yeah i'm also madhya so have pradesh. you visited some places in madhya pradesh as well yes yes bhopal uh, it's uh, my i'm staying at uh, morena morena madhya pradesh uh, so basically it's near at so i think 500 km i mean not 500 Uh, 300 to 400 km from bhopal so bhopal is very good city uh, i think uh, it's a, uh, it's very nice i visited some lakes also so mm-hmm. bhopal is very yeah. good. and gwalior yeah. utme nearby so have, have you visited indore yeah indore uh, also visited but it's very long time i am not uh, visiting uh, no indore indore it was good yeah it was good it's a great city we always remember indore for the clean city yes correct so yeah gwalior's nearby for my uh, hometown have you heard about uh, uh, yes i know gwalior i i know a lot of places even though i know your place that is morena i used to train a guy from morena itself so okay. i know several places in madhya pradesh cool. because it's like of course i am from up so like we are touching we are sharing the border with madhya pradesh okay yeah i think you are kanpur right i think yeah i have seen yes i am from kanpur so okay very good yeah it is a good city uh, we have everything we have like good facilities we can stay here we can do whatever we want so now uh, i want to ask you related to your job like how long it has been uh, for you you have been working as a like as an employee uh it's more than 2 years uh, i have uh, i have been working more than 2 years and now planning to switch to another company so okay so you are working in your first company till now right no no i have uh, so i have two company uh, two company i have worked. two companies mm-hmm. so this is your two second com- company this is my second company 
Okay, now you will switch to third one. Okay, so how's your experience in last two years? Yeah, it's uh, very up and downs uh, <laughs> for two <laughs> two years, and it's not easy uh, to how to basically uh, when I start working. So it's not how to uh, after you graduate, right? So mm -hmm. you just uh, I mean you know starting. A job because I have so many responsibility I have for family and all right. So when I started wor working, so it is not easy to how to uh, working because uh, I am the only person who going to the corporate world. So yeah, so basically, I mean, yeah, it, it it's uh, it's two years is uh, up and down, but uh, it was good. But now it's now you are becoming better and you're becoming experienced. So it was difficult in the beginning when you uh, like you know you did your graduation and you started working because what happens like we are in totally in a student zone when we study. If I talk about myself, I don't have any experience of doing job. I'm I'm not a totally a student. Of course, I conduct sessions, but I'm a student. So working for eight hours consistently, it's difficult. So when you shifted from as a student to as an employee, so it was difficult for you, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So nowadays, yeah. if I'll ask you about the friends, do you get time to hang out with your friends frequently? Yeah, sometimes because now these times, uh, friends are some other states, and I mean other states, I mean some other places working, right? So mm -hmm. right now I'm. Currently working from home, uh, so uh, last one year, so at home right now. So um, friends, uh, like on the call, we are uh, talking to each other on phone call and some other like uh, you know some other platform also, but uh, not face to face because uh, they all are working right and. Uh, yeah, so it's difficult busy. for you to meet your friends. You interact with your friends on phone calls, and apart from yeah. this, uh, like you know, rarely you meet your friends because they they are in other states. Maybe they are in other cities of your state. So yeah, I can understand. And you are working from home. Yeah. Um, so how many days do you work? Five days a week or six days a week? Five days a week. Five days a week. Okay, that's great. It's really nice. So, do you have any question for me also in the end of the yeah. session? Yeah, I'm, no, no, I have no questions, but uh, it, uh, this session for me uh, today is productive for me uh, for this session. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hope uh, you like this session because. Uh, yeah, of yeah. course, <laughs> I have enjoyed and I asked uh, you a lot of questions, and it was really interesting knowing about you. Yeah, and again, I will uh, conduct the session with you uh, whenever mm -hmm, you sure. have time. Uh, I hopefully see you soon, and uh, and thank you so much for uh, the session. I mean, uh, okay, place of mine. <laughs> so basically, uh, yeah, uh, I have no words, but uh, thank you so much. <laughs> Okay, thank you so much. Many, many thanks to you for joining me today and all the best. Keep practicing. Thank you. Okay, Ashish. Thank you.